Hey guys, through here with none of it, and in this one we're gonna be designing uh, some kind of a um, very simple organic spaceship. Okay, so we're gonna be doing it with sub D technique, a little bit different, uh, something different than you know just hard ups. But we're probably gonna be using a hard ups and box cutter anyway because who doesn't? Just very quickly before we start, guys, we have Patreon as Blender Bros together with Josh. Three tiers, awesome perks, lots of tutorials, decals, critiques, all that jazz. Check the link in the video description and hope to see you there. Thanks. Now, um, let's actually mirror this. So, let's drop the cursor here. Let's drop the origin to cursor, then cursor to origin, and then select it to cursor. Complicated, but effective. Mirror this across, boom, we cook in. Now let's grab this here and let's uh, extend it on Y, hold control and then press Shift R a few times, right? And why my mirror isn't working? Now it's working. Okay, then select these and um, E, uh, Z and drop it down and GX and move it here. Wait a minute, something is not right with the mirror. What kind of mirror is this? Oh, it's on symmetry. Press X to reset, boom. Now we're talking. Let's actually do it with a bisect, guys. So now it should be working. There we go. Um, so let's grab these and um, let's kind of rotate them like that and move them in here and scale them and bring these up a little bit and maybe bring these up too, just for fun. And this should do. And then we're going to narrow these two. So GX, move them in. Awesome. And we're going to make the back a little bit fatter. So GX, and just kind of scale it. In fact, you know what? I drop, um, select this edge, drop a cursor here, um, select this whole line, go to top view, orthographic, switch pivot point to cursor R, and just rotate the lattice. Okay. Okay, cool. So we got this kind of a shape going on. And in fact, we can do the same thing uh, with this one. So uh, go to side view, R and not Z, R and just rotate around the cursor and make this one, you know, kind of fatter in the back. Okay, so now select these and let's just um, switch to individual origins and maybe uh, we're going to select all these and the last one here, Alt A with machine tools and uh, do something like that, and then we're going to combine the back here, G, X, and then 444 four, four with machine tools and combine the front. Don't know what happened here, but uh, we can fix it. Uh, 4, there we go. Combine these two, and Bob Joanko. And we gotta fix the rest later, doesn't matter. Okay, cool. So we got this going on. Um, now let's apply this mirror and let's run the symmetry on this one. So D, symmetry, boom. It's perfectly symmetrized now. Let's grab this one in the middle and split it. And select, um, select these, okay. And drop them down, GZ, drop them down, like that, awesome. Um, select this bit here in the middle, in the back, make it smaller. Um, Cool. Let's drop a loop in here in the middle. Or maybe, you know what? Maybe not yet. Let's select these and let's go to front view and um, let's extrude it in here on X axis. Okay. Scale it down. Right. And SX0. Okay. PG. Um, now what we're going to do is go to the top view and let me see this. Let's actually apply a uh, sub D and smooth it so you can see better, a bit better what's happening. Um, we need some loops in here for sure. Okay. And now we can play with this shape of the wing a bit. So uh, we could um, select all these. Okay. Switch pivot to cursor top view orthographic and start curving this a little bit, right? So select this edge and curve it a little bit. Select this edge and curve it a bit, right? 
and then we can do is um, relax them so loop tools and just you know relax okay so we can actually select all these and uh, relax them and press shift R to you know repeat this process the same as this one press 3 to clean it select this loop here and right click and relax it and just shift R a few times to relax it awesome and uh, we're going to drop a cursor here switch to cursor it's already switched select this whole thing here right and rotate it like that okay so one more time uh, we're going to drop a cursor somewhere here select this edge and literally rotate it and kind of move it in here so they're kind of spaced evenly okay this is probably the easiest way to do it Now the trick of this uh, sub modeling is if you didn't know that is the uh, is the fact that all the um, all the quads yeah should more or less okay uh, be of equal size okay and that's quite important um, this will ensure that uh, uh, when you sub D the mesh you're not gonna be running into weird problems. Now these wings are way too thick, right? So let's see and just scale them down. Oh, this this one too. So let's see, scale it down. And let's see and scale it down. Scale it down and just grab this one, right? And you know, come on, just scale it up, right? And now we need to relax this one as well. So. Uh, relax, not flatten. Loop tools, relax, and repeat it a few times. There we go. This one is fine, or could be moved a little bit. So select these bits, maybe just this one and GG, and just move it a little bit here. Uh, same with these, you know, just move them a little bit here. And this one definitely has to be moved. So. GG, move it a bit here, you know, just to relax these quads a little bit. These could be moved a bit to the middle, so somewhere here, same as these ones, you know, just to space them out a little bit better, yeah. And so we got this basic shape. The wings maybe are a little bit too thin, so maybe we can make them a little bit thicker. So select these. Okay, side view and GZ and just make them a bit thicker, okay. Right. How we're looking from the front let's um, mirror this we don't look too bad now we're gonna have to you know we're gonna have to fix this shape a little bit okay because it's a bit of a pig so let's uh, select this edge and let's in fact go back to bisect okay so let's go to bisect with modifier and do this so we can have an update on the other side immediately let's grab this one here all of it and shift b this in fact this one could be a bit thinner here so we could grab these two and gz and move them up i think it's gonna look a bit better this one could be rotated just a little bit okay like this and maybe squashed right and this whole thing here could be longer okay i think it's gonna be interesting so uh, grab this and literally elongate it somewhere here like this right grab this loop here and do something like that can select this bit and scale it in right and then what we can do is do something fun so insert it oh we can't do it like that e i i no it's not gonna work okay we're gonna do it after the bicycle is finished uh we got some pinching in here which is a problem uh which we will need to fix so let me just see the flow i'm gonna fix this problem here so combine these two um, this edge should be running across, so I'm just gonna simply run it manually. <coughs> okay. And then we're gonna fix the flow over there, so... I'll fix the front later. And then we need to fix this here, this disaster, so... Uh, combine these two, and in fact, remove this one. And there's gonna be a quad here, and we peachy. Um, it's a little bit pinchy, but uh, I think... It's not terrible, I mean it could be a bit better, so we could do something like this, GG, and relax it in here, you see. That's a bit better. 
and um, this flow could be a bit better in here as well so something like this yeah so it's a bit more relaxed here these wings these wings uh, need to be fixed they need to be bigger by the way so let's just grab them from the top and you know um, grab them here and move them outside grab another loop or two awesome and we're gonna bring them down yes yeah? so we're going to select uh, select these right? and go to the front view press O for um, proportional editing and sort of uh, whoa and sort of curve these wings a little bit and maybe rotate them down a bit move them out like this just to add some interest and then we're going to uh, select these two or one actually two um, loops and bring them up turn off the proportional GC bring them up a little bit bring this one a little bit how are we looking we're looking much better we're looking much better we're looking much better this whole thing could be longer so we could extend it make it a little bit less you know more interesting I really like this peak it's awesome um, and then we can you know start start tidying this shape up so for example we could uh, tidy, tidy this thing up so split it here like this okay definitely split it in here right on the on the, on the on the edge this is cool uh, I'm cool with that now bottom could be a little bit better you know um, well defined so we could do something like this here and in fact grab these all right and move them down so GZ all right, move them down a bit so we're gonna get this kind of like a separation in the bottom which looks pretty awesome we can move the mirror above the subdivision and apply it and then we can uh, have some fun here so let's let's grab this bit and you know insert it and ins uh, and once we insert it actually a little bit more okay and then we can extrude it inside uh, in fact it's a little bit still too um too narrow so maybe a little bit more we need to be careful with these okay so we need to do it manually here all right fix this a little bit all right we can mirror it to the other side later on so select these okay e y and extrude it on y axis right and insert one more time and then we're probably gonna have to copy this to the other side so uh, you know mirror this right and then we cook in with fire so we, we we're good here we got a bit of a pinching in here which we need to fix so we need to see what's happening oh yes these are not connected right so uh connect them you have a triangle here but you can see it's fine it's not a big problem we can go to sub d3 so control 3 to make it really smooth right and now the sub d is really smooth we could remove it from here so we could remove this entire edge right and make it a bit more flat so we don't need this up to here not necessary okay this is not needed this one on the bottom is fine so that's that and we got some separation here in the middle so what we need to do is simply select these right go to top view and gg and relax them a bit okay select this whole edge and simply loops and relax and then click a few t click a few times and you should be fine then we need to select the back and ry0 flatten it out so select this <coughs> and separate it here and we're gonna go to the back and select these two and bring them to the same height so um, select this one and select this one and alt a top select this one select this one alt a top come on select this one this one alt a top bingo and the same in the bottom so yeah this one is a little bit pinchy here so we can just relax it you see like this um okay and bring these in so you know right either work either one works um it's all good we could relax these two though 
Um, so I move them a little bit away from one another so it's gonna relax and this ridge here kind of falls off and the rest is fine I think cool I don't like this pinch in the middle here so we're gonna take care of this in a minute so let's apply the mirror again right come on one more time go up and apply the mirror there we go this sub deal is causing this pinching here the middle uh, one we do need so we're gonna keep it we could remove it if you wanted to actually let's see if we can remove this if this would help probably not now we need to fix the top here so um, let's uh, you know let's select this one and uh, fix it with machine um, this one could be fixed as well we could relax it you know so relax it and press R a few times and then we will need to fix these so bring them back up uh, we can do it with a mirror over there the top needs to be flattened so what we're gonna do is select these and we're gonna do SC0 right and we're going to um, flatten these so SY0 right and these okay SY0 and we're gonna have some kind of a flat top and we need to bring these um, higher right so select these select this one out a top and you sort it how are we looking and it's fixed you see now this edge in the middle you don't really need it if you don't want to we can remove this uh, this one should be fixed like that uh, bring them a bit up that's cool in fact you know what we could actually bring them higher to create some sort of a uh, maybe front maybe that's too much maybe a little bit less crazy and uh, you know uh, run some uh, separation here with shift B separation here maybe uh, from this point to this point not a good idea let's run it in here all of that okay cool and we need to take care of this pinching here so uh chihuahua let's combine these and bring this up and combine these and make it into a triangle and this will work and it will gently fall off here which is fine mirror this to the other side and we're good now the rest of it could be done with you know with um bring it up a bit come on just one of them um you know the rest of it could be done with um way you call this thing let's just uh, separate it like that maybe let me fix this there we go that should work I'm not sure about this uh, maybe I'm gonna make it dissipate a bit you know a bit more gently so GG and uh, come on GY move it up here there's some kind of a beef over there which we need to fix, there we go and there's some s sorting out to be done in here there we go how are we looking? Well, that's much better it's a bit long though uh, maybe too long so what we're gonna do is select these and uh, GY and you know, move them somewhere here yeah, that's much better, I think Okay. now this one is a little bit too, you know too chalky, maybe we're gonna remove this uh, altogether. Um, these should be lined up, and this one, this one could be a little bit lower. So grab an edge and GZ and drop it down here. So create like a neck sort of thing. All right, all right, guys. Well, that will do. It looks pretty cool. In my opinion, the back should be, it could be. I mean, not should be, could be, a little bit longer. So what I'm gonna do is uh this is gonna be problematic uh, in fact you know what these should be moved a little bit here g and move them up here to relax this line um we could extend the back a little bit you know so we could so select uh, select the back here like this right and actually extend it a little bit to make it a bit more interesting like this right i think it's gonna be cooler yeah and uh you know maybe even rotate it a bit okay like this right 
and insert another loop here. Where is it? Uh, yeah, here, another loop, right? And uh, drop it a bit down, or even leave it like that. It's pretty cool, kind of like a lifted back. Looks a bit more aggressive. Um, so there you go. And, you know, then you need to do some tidying up, like, for example, there shouldn't be so many edges in here, so I could just remove this one. Uh, you could just combine them here, like this, if you wanted to. You know, triangles are fine, you know, occasionally, okay? It's not, it doesn't have to be all quads for sub D, it doesn't matter. Um, there you go. Uh, you could add some rudder or whatnot here, but you can do it later. Now, this is fine for, um, you know, for bullions, okay? And, and, uh, I'm, I'm not kidding. I'm actually going to show you. So let's, you know, uh, visual to mesh, which means I get applied um, sub D now, which is insane. And and you can slice it, you know, um, it's, it's perfectly fine. So you could just go in here now with angons and have some fun, okay? And it's perfectly fine. And then you can, you know, bevel them. And you, of course, will need to clean this, right? I mean... Da, but you can, you know, you can do it. So I can grab this piece, right, and then I can apply the boolean. So I can go to operations, smart apply, right, and you're gonna be limited on bevels, of course. I mean, you know, this is obvious, right, that you're gonna be limited on bevels, but you can still run bevels. And if you need to clean them, you need to clean them, and you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, right. So you might wanna, you know, run another edge here for the B weight, or you could simply remove one of the loops, you know, because this is really dense in here, so you can just remove one or two, and it should be fine, boom, see, sorted. So, like I said, so you can run boolean on zero like this with bevels, it's not a problem, you just need to learn how to control this, okay? Yeah, so before you apply it, you know, or like, uh, you, you know, you, you will need to clean some stuff, like for example, this one needs to go. You could use the machine tools, um, I mean, mesh machine for cleaning, so when I apply a bevel to it, right, um, press one. You will need to run cleanups here, of course, right? So again, this one probably will need to be get cleaned. So move this one here. So like this, remove it. You know, and see, boom, clean edge, right? And here too, you you will you will need to do a lot of cleaning. That's no 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 brainer. But uh, it's not impossible. Okay, so you can remove this. You see, you could remove this whole bit in the middle and replace it with just plain geo, it's not a big deal, okay, so before you apply sub D, you could remove this face here, clean it, and you can replace it with a regular face, so you could, you know, for example, run it from, you know, run it from here, right, uh, up to here, and around, right, and simply remove faces, okay, and then select this one, Control L, whoops, so like this one, Control L, X, remove verts, and simply replace this with a, you know, with a plain face, so you don't have to deal with this bullshit. Um, but other than that, you know, no problem. Stuff like this is gonna have to be fixed, of course. So like I said, you could use uh, Mesh Machine for it. So you could go to uh, Boolean Cleanup, and you could run a Boolean Cleanup, right? And once you do that, um, you're just gonna have to do a bit of a manual tidying. It's just simply too many verts in here, right? But once the sub D is applied, you know you can start removing stuff that uh, that you don't need, as long as you don't don't lose the uh, don't break the shading. Like for example here, you see the shading breaks, so we need to fix it. So we're gonna pull it like this and pull it back in, right? And let's see if this is gonna help. Maybe it didn't really. So what we're gonna do? Instead, it's running like this, okay, and remove these two, and I guarantee you the shading's gonna be fine, right, boom, see what I mean, so this is how you do it, okay, and like you see that, you know, you can just run uh, booleans with sub -Ds, no problem, just requires a bit of a cleaning, so you can create an organic form like this, um, with sub -D and then simply slice it, this is how I create my, um, the ship, this is exactly how I did it, okay? So I simply created, uh, where is it? Uh, I cannot find it. This one, right? I created the base mesh with sub D and I simply slice the hell out of it with booleans. 
and clean it up and there you go Bob's uncle so you you know it can be done just requires a bit of work um, if you are interested in buying the hard ups and box cutter uh, link in the video description and uh, you know that's it for this video thanks for watching catch you in the next one